Uh, well, amid a violent and unrest, Mexicans went to the polls on Sunday to elect federal and local representatives. Authorities were forced to cancel elections in about 600 polling stations due to protests over corruption and violence. Now, according to preliminary results, the party of President Enrique Peña Nieto, the PRI, has won a slim majority in the lower house of Congress along with its allies. Abstentionism is reported to have been over 50%. Meanwhile, activists in solidarity with the 43 disappeared students from Ayotzinapa blocked access to the polls in the southern state of Guerrero. Well, for us as people, it's a victory that the elections didn't take place in Tixla. Maybe the elections took place in most municipalities, but at least in Tixla, it's a historic victory. That even though it's a small municipality, we were able to prevent them from setting up ballot boxes. Our correspondent Clayton Kahn has been in the state of Oaxaca, one of the hot spots of pre-election violence and protest, and he files this report. Thousands of teachers took to the streets and public spaces throughout the state of Oaxaca, part of their actions to boycott the electoral process and express their indignation toward what they say is a political class that does not recognize their rights or needs. We need to defend our lives, our integrity, our employment, because this government does not have any interest in our society doing well. On Saturday, federal authorities launched a security operation sending more than 16,000 elements of the Army and federal police to ensure that the voting process would be carried out. However, supporters of the protesters view the presence of the military through a different lens. We are fed up with the government repression. We are fed up with their impositions. We are tired of the fraud that they commit, and that is why we are here supporting the teachers. Throughout the day, protesters in Oaxaca burned 283 ballot boxes, expressing that the official political process and parties are null and void. The burning of these electoral cards, which were taken from the polling station, demonstrates that we have defined this action as an electoral boycott. We don't want the political parties, so we are firm in these actions. Through police and military operations, 88 protesters and teachers were detained, prompting their Democratic Union to call for actions for their liberation and a demand for the removal of the armed forces in the state.